welcome back to Doodling Through Education for my CC students. This is CC Cycle 3, Week 23 History. For all my other students, that just means we're talking about the preamble of the Constitution. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so through a website called Buy Me a Coffee. I put a link in the description. Without further ado, let's start doodling. So what is the preamble of the Constitution? Next week, we will be talking more about the Constitution itself, but you can think of the preamble as an introduction to the Constitution, and it states the purpose of what the Founding Fathers hoped to convey, and what they really hoped the Constitution would help to achieve. A fun fact about the preamble is that it was written at the last minute, and was not even discussed or voted on on the floor. And so when we read the preamble, we need to understand that it is not law. The man who wrote the preamble to the United States Constitution's name was Governor Morris. And he added it, like I said, at the very last minute. So for today, I really wanted to break down each part of the preamble and discuss it more fully and more so let's jump into the preamble. It starts with we the people. So who does this mean? Which people? This means all of the citizens of the United States. Every single one of them. They are saying that the Constitution is speaking on behalf of the citizens of the United States. Next, it says, in order to form a more perfect union. At this time, a man named Sir William Blackstone had stated that the Constitution of England was perfect but steadily improving. So many historians believe that this phrase of a more perfect union is a nod back to Sir William Blackstone's writings. Other historians believe that a more perfect union simply meant that, that the United States was going to now become a better union than before the Constitution. It next says establish justice. This means that no matter how much money someone had or how much status someone had in their community, that they were equal under the law. The Founding Fathers wanted to establish an equal and fair rule of law. It then says, ensure domestic tranquility. There had been many rebellions during this time in history, and many people feared that the spirit of the American Revolutionary War was getting uncontrollable and out of hand. And people wanted there to be peace. And so the Founding Fathers agreed that there needed to be peace in this new country and that the Constitution was going to ensure this. Then it talks about providing for the common defense. This statement meant that the Founding Fathers were well aware that the United States currently had a lot of people that were seeking to destroy it. It could have been anybody from Great Britain, the country that we were seeking independence from, to Canada, to the Native American tribes who at that time were quite hostile towards the Founding Fathers. So essentially, these Founding Fathers knew that America needed to protect itself. Then it talks about promoting the general welfare. Promoting the general welfare should be the basic goal for all countries to make sure that their citizens are happy and healthy. And so this was also the main reason for the Constitution in our case as well. And then it says, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. We have to remember that 
many of the people who traveled to America came from countries where they had very little freedom, both politically and religiously. And this phrase demonstrates the intent that the new government was going to protect this freedom against any other government. The new government was going to protect the blessings of liberty for ourselves and for our children. And then it says, ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. And many historians believe that this is a very strong statement in the preamble. It says it is the citizens of the United States who give the constitution its power, not the government. The founding fathers who wrote the preamble to the Constitution have inspired generations of American citizens with the motive behind what the Constitution was trying to provide for our country. And that's all we have for today. For my CC students, what I'd like you to do is really work on memorizing your memory work this week. And now that you know the story behind each part of the preamble, I hope that that provides more insight into what the Founding Fathers were trying to convey when we start talking about the Constitution next week. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.